So here we have a Foxborough Model 13A differential pressure transmitter hooked up to measure the level of water in a vertical column. Nothing more than a half inch piece of PVC tube or pipe. On the left hand side we have a piece of clear plastic tubing serving as a sight glass. Although it's difficult to see right here, the water level is right there uh, just by the tie wrap. I have placed this tie wrap on the tube as a marker for the upper range value of calibration. I have another tie wrap down below which is marking the lower range value of calibration and I randomly set those for students. What they have to do is measure the distance between the tie wraps and figure out the span of the water level measurement. Of course, we have to have an indicator for the DP cell to indicate to, so down here we have a field indicator. And right here you can see the orange needle pointing up at 100% because over here we have water at our 100% mark. What we're going to do next is take a bucket and drain that water and get down to the lower range value and we're going to see the pointer of the field indicator go down to 0%. So go ahead and slowly drain the water. I'm going to go back over here to the field indicator. And as we slowly drain water out of the water column, we're going to see this indication come down. So water's draining out. Indication's coming down. We can see the water level drop here in our sight glass. See the water draining into the bucket. And so that water level is going to come down all the way down to the lower range value, then he's going to shut off the valve. As it does so, we come over here to the indicator and we see the indication coming down. This is a great example of a pneumatic level measurement system. <clears throat> we have remote indication of our water level transmitted by a pneumatic air pressure signal. All we have at the back of this indicator is a plastic tube carrying our 3 to 15 psi air pressure and that is conveying the information of water level in the tube. No electronics, no wires, nothing but mechanical components and air pressure. And so right here we see the pointer of the indicator right at the 0% mark. Coming over here, we can see on our sight glass the water level is at the tie wrap. It's difficult to see because the actual meniscus is inside the tie wrap area, but the water level's right there. So that's a working, practical water level measurement system, all pneumatic.